I don't feel like I'm upside down. I don't feel like I'm underground. I don't really feel any particular way. But I've decided to start getting a little more systematic with escape patch ideas. Let's start with an assumption, a hypothesis actually, let's say, that this is a subterranean place, a netherworld. I've called it that before, although I don't know exactly where I got that concept. But yes, let's make a new escape patch. Let's base it on the idea of going up and down. We'll start with an ascending four step sequence on the Cartesian channel of Rene. We'll take the stereo pulse width modulation outs of the XPO and we'll uh, low pass filter them with QPOS. There's our ascending sequence. Let's also try a descending sequence on the next row. We'll use a slow Y clock to switch between them. Let's add a little rhythmic interest. stop at all. I'd like to have a supplemental voice too. Let's use the STO's variable out. We'll sequence it with the X channel of Rene. Now I've got the X channel's quantized page set to the exact same notes the C channel. Since I've already got both X and Y channels clocked, if I want this sequence to go faster, I'll have to do something else. Let's take a faster clock, do the X mod input. Slower one to this other maths channel and we'll take the resulting slower function into the XCV input, and we'll turn on the fun sample and hold option. Now note the difference between add and sample and hold. Add simply adds higher intervals immediately as they're received, whereas the sample and hold waits for the gate at the mod input. Let's modulate the uh, level of this signal with the sum out of mass. Got the channel 3 attenuverter turned up a little. 
Make sure it never turns completely off. While we're at it, let's use the OR output to modulate the shape of the STO's waveform.
Thank <laughs> you.